Turned up to us, Worcester Bosch, RI boiler. No heating was a fault. Heating's on on the programmer. Room stats up. Boiler's not doing anything. Go upstairs. Wide plan system. Whip out the breakdown Bible. Go down to wide plan fault finding flow chart. No heating. Is the programmer on? Yeah. Programmer set to heat in. Room stats up. It's boiler displaying a fault code. No, it isn't. Go to the 10 way. Whip the 10 way open. Is there 240 on white? So we do earth to white. You've got 240. Follow the flow chart across. Yes, is there 240 on orange? 86 volts, which isn't enough to fire the boiler. What does the breakdown Bible say? Replace zone valve. So if we scroll up, we go to wide plan wiring sequence heating on, goes from the programmer to the room stat, and then from the room stat to the zone valve on white, makes a switch over to orange to fire the boiler. It wasn't firing the boiler, so that's how we know it was a zone valve. If you manually motor it over and lock it on, it's easier to take the head off. Because it wasn't making the switch, we can just change the head. It's fine, there's a screw on the end, whip that off. Undo the two screws. And then the head just easily pulls off. I always just check to make sure that that moves freely, which it does. I can do it with my hands. Isolate the power at the switch fuse spur. Go and grab the Honeywell wide plan valve off the van. Manually motor that one open. Like I said, makes it easier to di disconnect off the valve. Now it's all wired in, switch through spur back on. We check for 240 on grey, because heat hot water's off. We're getting 240, check for 240 on white, we're still getting 240 on white. And now we're getting 240 on orange. Pump's firing as well. So we go downstairs and check the boiler, but we know that'll be firing as well. Boys on, Brad's getting hot. Happy days.